the most simplest kelp xp farm for your minecraft bedrock so without wasting any more time let's get right into this video so as you can see this is the entire kelp farm itself let me just switch that off so as you can see it's quite easy to build and all the redstone contraption is onto this lever and this lever alone when you switch this on the entire farm switches on you get instant kelp every single second and uh in the end you will get some dried kelp as well why is it raining now we have two smokers here that will go ahead and burn these kelp down to dried kelp and it will automatically transfer it to this chest when this lever is down it will not transfer it so you can get some xps out of it i'm gonna switch uh, i'm gonna switch to survival quickly and as you can see i have zero levels when i grab this i'll get some levels and bam we are up to one level just like that now you can uh, drop your kelp back in now of course you can switch this up and switch this farm on and all the kelp will be diverted back to this chest over here now that is the entire farm let's quickly go ahead and build this farm now i'm gonna build the same farm over here exactly right there let's build it one over here now these are all the, okay these are all the materials you need in exact amounts except for the rest on dust you just need quite a few of them now to build this farm you're gonna start off by uh building a t there you go once you have this t ready you're gonna break the middle block over there add a lever right there grab your redstone torch place the redstone torch right there now you're gonna grab your repeaters and you're gonna place your repeater just like this and make sure that it is lit on now all you're gonna do is place a dust over there and lever over here you can switch the entire farm on and off make sure you switch it off first now you're gonna grab your normal blocks place it one two and three and add some dust on top of it three redstone dust just like this now you're gonna grab your no uh, sticky piston and add the sticky piston on the redstone dust just like that make sure it looks exactly like this uh you want to grab your normal blocks keep some normal blocks right over there and now you're gonna grab your six sand blocks place one okay you only need four actually are oh, you gonna grab your four sand and place two sand over there and two more on top of the piston where it expands right there now grab your chest place the chest below the lever and of course your six hoppers two over here and you're gonna place two smokers on the top of the hopper and now you will place the other four hoppers on the smoker and the ones that go into the smoker now once you have this ready you're gonna expand one two three four and go one two three and come all the way down just like this now once you have this grab your four glass panes and fix it right over here there you go you have the glass panes right there to prevent the kelp from flying outside making sure that it will go inside the hopper now make sure you do not place any blocks over here you should not place any blocks or the farm will not work the best thing to do is to cover the sides up like this once you have the sides covered up you can cover this side as and add some blocks right there as well now here you're gonna break this block right there and grab your torch place one more torch right there another block on top of the torch and another torch right there once you have this ready you're gonna block this over here you're gonna block over here and do that now grab your two normal pistons that you have and go inside over to the sand area and place the two pistons right there there you go that is exactly what you want add your two blocks and we're gonna power the pistons using the same redstone that flows all the way over here now add some blocks over here over here over here over here and over there we're gonna add some trap doors over there before that you're gonna break this block and uh let's just add the trap doors and i'll show you we're gonna also flow the redstone all the way to the trap doors as well and add your two trap doors make sure it's open now add your dust over here and over here a block on top of the torch and just like that there it is now the redstone is connected all the way to the trap doors as well as you can see that is the farm the last thing to do is add water and kelp make sure the entire farm looks exactly like this grab your water and your kelp as well all you gotta do is go up over here now this is very very important make sure you place uh, water on the trap door one trap door two and also on the sand you want to make sure you come inside the hole 
and uh, <laughs> make sure you add water right there and on that sand block as well and then just go ahead and add your kelp and there you go that is your entire kelp farm automatic fully automatic also one tick as well and you're also gonna get some xps now for the xps you wanna add lever on the smoker just like this now let's switch on the farm and see if it works and there you go it works like a charm we have kelp flowing down to the hoppers and of course we need to add some coal over here now once you add some coal you have your dried kelp coming down just like that now for the xp part all you have to do is push the lever down and then wait for it to you know smoke entire stack and then go ahead and collect the stack dried kelp to get your xp now unfortunately after the latest update you cannot get all the collective xp of the smoker burning the kelp to dried kelp so you will have to manually switch the lever down and wait for it to burn to get this xp switch it back on once you got the xp and it will go back and that is your fully automatic one tick kelp farm kelp xp farm thank you so much for watching if this video was helpful make sure you like and also subscribe to the channel also make sure you check out my survival episodes link in description or in the end screen